they're uh, cutting the BOP here. That's what they're doing. Uh, the blowout preventer. It's on top of the, the big, huge, uh, you know, wellhead. Uh, that's why, you know, you're having uh, more commotion over here on the, uh, the riser pipe because of the uh, BOP activity. Wow, they're really just cutting away. Incredible. Look at that. Look at that. That, the results will be, what will happen here is one big flow right out of the BO, where, where the BOP used to be. They have another BOP down there. They're going to try to put on top of it within a day or two. But it's going to be pretty nasty down there for a while. Better actually one, one place to concentrate on. I'm really not sure. But we are going to see, because they got those, those saw blades, those diamond tip saw blades, uh, you know, hard at work here. Yeah, you see now uh, they got a better view here. They're, they get incredible footage, you know, 5,000 feet below here in the Gulf. You know, however terrible. There it goes. Look at that. Whoa. I don't know how they can see what they're doing. Jeez Louise. Gonna take a lot of cutting to get through uh, to get through that metal. That's that not. It's not meant to easily be cut. Of course, it's got to be uh, strong to handle all the pressure of that oil and the hydrates. But um, they got those diamond tip saws just uh, hacking through it here. See debris flying off. Boy, what a mess. I guess they gotta try something. And once they get this this off, oh look at that piece falling off, timber. There goes a valve or something or another. Boom. Once they get this off, there should be one flow, like we said, and then they'll they'll try to cap it with another uh, another BOP. It's got a certain name. I forget what it is offhand. I'll post it in the more info section. Anyway, pretty wild. 